Okay, this is a follow-up to the video I did when I was pointing the camera down at the straw on the ground. And I was talking about the straw man or the straw woman. And this is going to tie into that uh, very well. The video that is in front of you, the, the text is not my own. And it has another author or creator. <laughs> And I'm not sure who the individual is, and I'm not sure the channel, but whoever created this, I give you all the credit for your good creation here and your good uh, authoring of this little text that's on the screen. And I'm going to let it play for you in just a minute, but I suggest that you... Um, maybe put it on a slower speed because it, it comes out pretty rapidly. But let's just take a look at this title. The United States, or let's just call that true government, or fairly true government, did exist at one time. But after the third month and the third third of the third month, which would be the 9th of 33, 1933. So the date would be uh, March the 9th, 1933. That's kind of the, the pivotal date. Now, you'll, you never learned that in your history class. You learned a bunch of hooey-gooey, hoaxy history because all the real history is kept from you. So on that date, all your understanding of anything you ever thought was was real true good government is gone the United States of America is bankrupt and by the way that was intentional and that's a result of the war hoaxing and I have another video that that kind of has grown tremendously I made it about maybe three years ago called the 80 year war hoax. It was a very simple video, nothing fantastic about it, just looking at the math that every 80 years there's a war. In fact, right now we're actually in that 80 year war hoax and it is a fulfillment of the 80 year war hoax uh, syndrome that I came up with a few years ago just by looking at the math. But the government is gone, so get it out of your head you don't really have true government. You actually have a phony government that masquerades as true government and what you have are actors and this phony government is protected by all sorts of uh, military type things such as your local police or your county police or or your state police or your federal troops or whatever your federal reserve is, uh, reserve troops, state uh, state troops, you name it, it protects it. So the system is phony. And it's phony because the true system went bankrupt. All right? So I'm going to let this play, and then at the very end I'll say a few more words.
Okay, I'm going to stop the video there and make just a few comments. Um, I debated whether to put the second half of this up on the screen for you, but I decided in fairness to the creator or the author of the video that it needed to be shown in its entirety. Now in the second half, the author kind of suggests and recommends and points you in the direction to quote redeem your straw man or your straw woman and I know this was popular for a while and I'll be real honest with you I don't think it's a good idea and that's just my personal view and you're going to find others out there that will be pushing this and suggesting this you're even going to find people say I'll help you do it for a fee and then they'll make some money on you and you'll think it's all settled and done, and then if you get a, t a ticket, a traffic ticket, you'll find out <laughs> that even though you thought you redeemed your straw man or something, you're still going to be in the system no matter what in the blue blazes you think you've done. Okay? Now, why am I saying all this? Well, a couple of reasons. First reason, go back to the Bible, and Jesus said, Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and render unto God what is God's. So Jesus basically said, cooperate with Caesar to the point at which you can cooperate. And if it's taxes, you pay taxes. If you're caught speeding, you pay the speeding fine. Look, uh, I don't advocate trying to, quote, fight everything and, and prove to all these hoaxers that you're in charge and all you're going to do is make them more angry at you and they're going to inflict more penalties on you yes even though that on your driver's license is capital letters and that's not really you it don't matter they own everything they control everything every system every country no joke it is true now why is that true because the devil is in charge He's in charge of this world. I'm sorry to say it, but it is true. He's the prince of this world. Now, when Jesus was in wilderness, the devil offered him all kinds of things. And Jesus didn't correct him. Jesus didn't say, well, 
No, that's not really true. It is true. You'll be fighting a system for the rest of your life. You'll have so much stress, anxiety, and depression. I believe you'll regret that you ever tried to do it. You could lose the various things that you have. At least you, at least you think you have. That's a whole other topic. And um, you could end up with so much stress that I think you would say, I, I wish I would have listened to that one on this video, saying, don't do it, don't do it. Don't try to redeem the straw man. Don't try to do all that nonsense. Just live your life for Christ. Let the light of Jesus Christ be in your life. That's how you wake up. Get the mind of Christ and let that be your mind. Allow the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, to govern your life. Yes, I know there's a straw man. Yes, I know he's on everything that you own. And I, yes, I know he's, quote, in the system or she's in the system. Well, that's the render under Caesar. What is Caesar? Caesar is saying, I own everything and I want my due. And unfortunately, the due takes an awful lot out of your life. We're, we're paying almost up to about a, a one-third of our income. It goes to taxes. Well, that's Caesar. So you've got to give to Caesar with Caesar's. Even if Caesar takes, takes you down. But you know what? If you live for Christ, none of that is important. So... On the screen says, time to wake up. I would rephrase it a little differently. That It's the time to get the mind of Christ and get the Holy Spirit in your life, the Spirit of Truth, and just live in truth, even though you know all around you is deception. Even though you know all around you is a hoax system. Even though you now know that any thoughts of real government is completely gone. You just got to live with it, and you can live with it by the grace of God. For my grace is sufficient. That's the message to you. God's grace is sufficient for you to cope with this crazy uh, hoax world system. But you can do it, and I want to tell you something. I've been doing it. Most likely, I'm much older than you, my listener and my viewer. I don't know your age, and it's not really important to give my age, but I'm going to tell you I've been doing it my whole life, and it is worth it. Just live for Christ, and don't let the world hook you. This is the end of the video, and I thank you for watching.